Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back. Welcome newcomers to the channel. Are you asking why there's a big, huge peach sitting on the table? Well, the reason why is because we had an awesome live stream last night, and this was still sitting on the table, and I was showing them how big it was and how much it weighed. So I was like, you know what? I'll put this peach on YouTube, and it'll be timeless. <laughs> All right, let's get to the knife that we're here about. This is the Sativian ST132, and there's a little something special about this version. Are you ready? Ooh, very nice. Would you look at it? Just look at it. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way around and show you this knife, and I got a little little secret, a little something, something secret. Uh, they, they goofed up when they were uh, shipping or packing or whatever these, and we're going to get an awesome deal, anybody that's interested in one. And, oh, look at that, my car to backspacer, and it's reversible deep carry pocket clip, look at that, and it has the filler tab. What is going on, man? We're getting some major improvements going on here. Let's see if I can give you some texture vision right off the get-go. Um, it has pretty good texture from 1 to 10. I'd say it's around a 5. You can definitely feel it, and I'm getting a little bit of texture from these little wavy waves. And I'm going to show you a G10 version here in a minute, too. But just going all the way around, it's kind of hard to see, but it has a nice clean look. Um, it's not shadow boxed. It's very clean. I like the look of it so far. And oh, look at that. Another improvement. There's no hole going straight through it. You have a lanyard spot right there, a post for your lanyard for all you lanyard lovers. That is very nice. You want to see the blade? Let's check it out. Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I have high hopes for this knife. It is a good looking knife. And for the price, holy moly let's let's check it all out and then we'll see if it's definitely worth what they are asking i just wiped off the blade so let's go from one end down to the other and check out the fit and the finish so it has a really nice black stone wash going on we have a fuller i'm really curious if we're going to be able to use this fuller it's not very sharp it's kind of smooth so i'm guessing not but we'll find out shortly it has a really nice looking swedge going along the spine i like that blade shape it's very nice looking drop point there's your Sativian logo, and there is no sharpening tool really to be heard of. Um, there's nothing on there going all the way down. Here is, oh yeah, we'll definitely check that out when we do the ergos. You've seen the side. So we have T6 and T8. So T8 for the pivot and T6 for the body screws. That right there is awesome. That is awesome. The backspacer looks really cool. Here's a look at your pocket clip. Looks like a good looking pocket clip. You have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade there. Um, I doubt they're going to be an issue because check it out. The pocket clip is inset into the micarta. Very nice. Let's see how it goes in and out of the pocket. All right, not too shabby. Not too bad. Um, you know, this right here, this dude is in line, so it's definitely not going to be, a, be an issue for you. I wouldn't mind if it just had a slight flare up, just a little bit, to help guide your pants in there if you have thicker pants. So the finish is good. How about the fit? Are we centered? Yes, we are centered. And how about the lockup? Man, it's pretty snappy. Lockup, we're looking at, we're right there in the 30% range. I'm trying to get it for the camera for you. Yeah, I'd say about 30%. And left, right, solid. Up and down, solid. Very nice, very, very nice. Let's see how the edge does right out of the box. Yep, I expected no less. The Tibian usually comes with a very, oh yeah. It is very sharp. You hear that? Listen. It's very. It is shavy, shavy. Sh I mean, it is shaving little shards. Look at this. Can you see it? Very nice. So it has a good edge right from the factory. There are five different versions of this. There's three different G10 versions, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then you have this, you have this green, this really dark green micarta, and then you have the brown micarta. Here's what their deal is. If you go to Amazon, all of their versions are $29.99, except if you go to the green micarta version, which I will have links to that and every other knife you see here coming up in this video, all of that's in the description with discount codes and all kinds of good stuff. But if you go to the green one, it's only $19.99. They dropped it by 10 bucks because they made a goof. The green ones and the brown ones were packaged together on the green order. So if you want to order a green and take a chance of getting the green or the brown, which both look really cool, it's... Now, it's less than $20. Are you freaking kidding me? I already know that's a good deal. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. We'll take a quick stab of at the old weight and see if I can get close or not. Um, let's see. You know, whoo, it feels kind of close to the Manix 2. I'm going to guess just a little under. I'm going to go 4.8 ounces. And it is. 
4.59, 4.6 ounces. I went over this time. It feels substantial in the hand. <laughs> Here's your specs in less than 60 seconds. Are you ready? Go. So your total length from tip to tip is 8.25 inches. You have a drop point blade with D2 blade steel. You have nice black stone wash finish. Your total blade length from the tip right to the scales is 3.4 inches. Your sharpen length is 3.49 inches. Your blade width is 1.04 inches. Your blade stock is 137 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge, I was very impressed. 14 thousandths of an inch. Very sharp. Nice looking micarta. Your close length from tip to tip is 4.81 inches. Your handle width is 1.06 inches. Closed width 1.21 inches. Your handle thickness is 0.59 inches. We have a flipper for opening. There's ball bearings, and we're going to see what they look like because we're going to take it apart and break it down. It's a liner lock with a reversible deep carry pocket clip. You have T8 for the pivot and T6 body screws. And this is the Sativian ST132. Here's what it looks width-wise next to the QSP Penguin. And now let's get some quick size comparisons. And you know you have to have a QSP Penguin. So all of you that have got a penguin or had one or bought one after you found bees blades, this will give you a great idea. And how about the Sincut Brazoria? All right, okay, we'll see if we can narrow it down. How about a couple more? The Spyderco Tenacious and the Kubi Raven. I just did a video on this one recently, depending on when you're watching this video. You might be watching this video in 2025 for all I know, but just so you know, I have videos on that one too. Here's the Kaiser T1, one of my favorites, and I have this one at Titanium. And here's the Savivi Brazen, one of my all-time budget favorites. And last but not least, two more of my budget favorites, the Petrified Fish PF818. Oh yeah, baby. I will flip that thing all day long. And here's another one from Sativi in the ST102. Look at that. Similar blade shapes. If you have an ST102, and I know there's a lot of folks that collect Sativian knives, the blade is just a hair bigger than that one. So there you go. Now here's the G G10 version. Um, I'm personally not fond of the color scheme, but a lot of folks might. This one is the G10, and there's three different versions of this G10. And now this one, I just weighed it. It weighs five ounces, so this one definitely weighs more than this one. And we'll check them both out here, but I'm going to go ahead and check out the Ergos. After I check out the action, and if you enjoy Bees Blaze and you enjoy my content, give me a big old thumbs up, Aruski. I'd really appreciate it. It helps support the channel a little bit. So let's do the push button. What's it going to do? Pow! Right in the kisser. Yeah. So, look at that. Look at this. Right out of the box. I, <laughs> it's, oh, it's dropping on its own. And we haven't done anything to it. Oh, yes. The light switch, very nice. And you know what? Look at here. We have some jimping. The jimping is pretty good. It's a little grabby. I wouldn't mind it being a, even a little more grabbier. I would rather it be more than less grabby. That way I don't, don't do a fail. But you know what? It's very easy on the deployment. How about left-handed? You're going to be able to carry this right or left-handed. And the pass-through, left-handed, the pass-through is great. Right-handed, good pass-through. There's no jimping on there, but you have plenty of room cut out. Don't have to use my fingernail. Don't have to jam my finger. It's easy access. Yes, this is definitely going to be a fidgetable knife. S speaking of which, let's try this floor. Can we? Ho! Ho! Hold the bus. We can reverse flick it. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. So you have a reverse. Can we thumb flick it? You can. Now the thumb flick, I made sure to commit my finger because there's not a lot of room to fit into that fuller. If the fuller was a little more sharp, then it would be that much better. But if I commit my thumb in there, you so you can use your thumb, you can reverse flick it, or you can miss it. <laughs> you can reverse flick it. All right, so we've got all kinds of options. Ergo wise, my hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and seven and a quarter from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger. Let's see what it looks like. Just holding it lightly. You know the size and width of my hand. It's very comfortable. I'm not feeling any hot spots. Let's give the old B squeeze. No hot spots at all. That is very nice. I'm enjoying that. Comfortable grip. Yes. Either either way, man, nice. So in the traditional, in the traditional grip, just holding it. The jimping, not too bad. I think the, the thing that would make the difference is if the jimping were, let me see if I can get a good light, light angle. There we go. A little more jimping. If the jimping came out to here, it would look kind of weird just because where the swedge comes all the way up. If it were me personally, I would move the swedge out to about here and give me more jimping because my, my thumb tends to go up. So only about half of the jimping is on my actual thumb. Now I can hold it back here but I typically don't hold my thumb back this far. That's just me personally. That's a personal thing. I wouldn't even call it a nitpick, but it is pretty pretty grippy jimping. I can't complain about that. 
It feels very comfortable. Are you going to be able to do utility cuts? Yeah, you'll, you'll have to raise it up just a little bit to make sure the tip hits something. But this is, man, I'm telling you, to, <laughs> $20, 19-whatever, 19 19-90-something. For this, are you kidding me? Without a doubt. Let's take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. Before we do, let me check out the G10 version. So, it still has the same pow factor. Still has great, great deployment. Ooh, this one has a little bit stronger detent. This one definitely feels substantial. If you like a knife that feels substantial in your hand, this one has a just a tad and I can tell that it weighs just a little bit more. And look, the same action. Same action. You know what? Let's check out the edge real quick. Might as well since we have two versions of it, right? Same thing. So we have two different versions bought on two separate days. Look at that. Yeah. So this one is, is giving me the exact same of everything else. The pass-through, everything's comfortable. It's centered. The lockup's about the same right there, the 30% mark. So that's showing some consistency. All right, now let's take the other one apart. If you want to take a quick screenshot, this is everything I use to take my knives apart. Get you some doodads. You'll be glad you did. You can use them for so many things. And you'll see me use them here in this disassembly. And also, get you a Weeha bit set because it acts as a backup driver. Yeah, look at that. And if you go and get another set, I haven't said this in a long time. If you go get the wrong set or a cheap set on Amazon, this is on Amazon. But if you get the wrong set, you will strip them. And then you won't be able to take your knife apart or put it back together. So what I recommend as a complete kit is you get that and then the CRKT bit driver, which has Weeha bits in it. And you'll have two sets. You'll have two drivers. You'll be ready to go. And then get you some KPL knife pivot lube. Um, I have a link in the description, 10% off of KPL and knife, knife, knife maintenance, all kinds of discount codes to all kinds of different places down in, in there. I have 10% off on Mojave Outdoor. Definitely go to Mojave Outdoor and get you a Kaiser. They're 10% off. But all right, let's take this knife apart. We have a lot of new people to these blades, and I want to make sure you know what I'm using. So I all right, see, I put my T8 and my T6 upside down. They're easy to recognize. Plus, I have extras in there. I usually take out one that, uh, you know, is not going to be one that I use. Now, I do have Fancy Bit Driver. This is Get Good Screw. I have uh, links in the description to that one. But if you're looking for budget, everything I just showed you is going to take care of what you want. It definitely gets you a Weeha Stubby. These give you a good grip, and that makes sure, okay. So, hopefully we don't have a spinning pivot. I'm going to take it apart from the clip side. And yeah, let's move stuff out of the way so it's not rolling everywhere. Let's see what happens when I go for over here. Are we going to spin? No. Oh, <laughs> very nice. I think we might have a D-shaped pivot, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. And we do have a little bit of Loctite going on. Ooh, I'm, I'm already happy about that. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you just using what I showed you in the beginning here. I'm going to start taking my screws out. I'm going to do everything from the same side. And if you're not familiar... With Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. On Friday nights, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come and hang out with us. We have a lot of fun. We talk about knives and everything knife related and EDC related. And sometimes we talk about peaches. <laughs> it's, it's a fun time. It's a lot of fun. And everyone's like-minded. You will find that you have... Oh, look at this. So we don't have to take the pocket clip off. So there's a, there's a nicety already. This whole scale came off, pocket clip included. So you don't even have to take the scale off to get on the inside and clean it out. I'm just going to do a quick wipe down and show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, what kind of bearings do we have? See, those are steel bearings, or you can tell because they are steel colored. So I'm just going to, you not, 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 not uh, can't talk, words are hard. Not necessarily that it's dirty, but I am going to clean it off. A lot of times with stone wash, it'll break in and you'll get a little bit of that stuff off. And then after some use, You'll get a nice path worn. See that circle right there? You'll get a nice path worn in from the detent ball. So this one looks like it's going to be pretty easy just to take apart. Give it a little cleaner ruski. And it gives me another chance to say thank you channel members. Thank you patrons. And thank you all you subscribers for supporting the channel. You're absolutely amazing. You're making this thing rock and roll. I have did some upgrades to the live streams. And it made it more fun and more informative. That way we could do more Q&A and all that fun stuff that we do. Because that is the highlight of my week, our Friday nights. Live at the Hive. So this week, folks were doing some good dad jokes. And I can't remember one of them. <laughs> I can't remember any of them. And I, you know, I've got to remember one of these dad jokes. So here's the stop pin. 
Hopefully you can follow along or you can stop and zoom in. And hopefully you don't have fuzzies when you're doing it. And I'll put my stop pin back here if I can find it. There we go. And now our blade, um, you know what? I'm gonna start with the KPL Heavy and put a little bit of heavy. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. All you bees bladers, you were wondering. Put a little bit right, <clears throat> right inside there and then follow it out. <clears throat> you don't have to use that much. And if you can see the path that I'm following, see that circle? You don't have to put that much. I just do sometimes because it's fun. And I like all the little technical stuff like this. There, that is plenty, plenty. And now I'm going to get some KPL original and lube it up. Got to lube it up. Nothing like a little bit of luby doob in the morning. So I'm curious, all of you that normally watch Bee's Blades, I have a question for you. And you never know when that might be, that might indicate that this might be a video where, you know, uh, something would be away given. <laughs> I have to be careful how I say something, otherwise we just get tons of bots. But if you're still here watching this, I know that you probably enjoy disassemblies or you're a supporter of the channel, and I thank you very much. But here's a question for you. And we talked about this a little on the live stream. I had changed up my, uh, oh, wiped that off again. Someone pointed that out that I did that the other day. I set it down on the wrong side, and I wiped off the KPL Heavy. So thank you very much for mentioning that. I, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off just because I want you to get a little satisfaction that, yes, I saw your comment, and I remember responding to it. So when I set this down, I need to start doing it like that. That way I don't wipe it all over the table. There we go. Anywho, what's your preference? Do you like the, the bees blades with, with your coffee in the morning? Would you rather it be uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time? I was thinking about switching it back. I had some folks that really liked doing breakfast with bees, and I'd moved it back because YouTube was telling me I should. But, you know, I really like that folks get up in the morning and they get to have their breakfast and get a little pick-me-up because I'm always hoping you're having a fantastic day. Or if you're driving in your car just listening to bees, I hope you're having a fantastic drive. Don't yell at anybody. Don't get mad. Now, let's check here. Do we have a D-shaped pivot? I didn't look before. Look at there. We have a D-shaped pivot pivot right there boy it's hard to get in the light there you go see there where it's d-shaped what is our d the big d look at there yes sativian for the win with the d-shaped pivot baby that's what i'm talking about that's always a major plus major 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 plus all right so that d-shape that right there is going to match and i'm going to do this just to turn it to where i'm where it's going to be and now we'll put my stop pin back in so I'm thinking maybe I should move the live streams back to 6 a.m. Just a little question for all you that support the channel. And if you're new and you're watching this, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you're enjoying yourself. So everything looks like it's in line. Am I missing something? We'll find out. And I know all the channel members will be screaming at me if I did forget something. Um, what is not lining up for me here? Do, do, do. La, da, da. Okay, you hear all that snapping? That's that's a good sign. Everything looks nice and solid. And yeah, let's put this bad boy back together. So I told myself I'd be mowing the grass right now. But uh, the thing about that is it's like a bajillion degrees outside with two bajillion percent humidity. So I'm kind of putting it off. <laughs> kind of, oh, wait a minute. I wonder what was happening there. I had the wrong wrong one. I got to get my T8 out. There we go. Now it's working. Yeah, it is uh, here where I live. It is, oh my goodness. Now, depending, you could be watching this video in the middle of winter. And if you are, well, I hope you got some snow and I hope you went out and made a snowman because I love making snowmen. And I love winter. I love cool temperatures. I'm not much for going over like 75 degrees. But that's just me. And this is kind of what we do at the live stream too is... We'll talk about a knife, and then we'll talk about how hot it is or how cold it is, and then we'll go to the next thing, and we just have a lot of fun. And this is going back together very well. Let's screw over here. So I felt that, and I thought maybe it was loose, but no, it does stick out just a little back, bit. One improvement they can make would be flat screws. That would be fantastic. So are we tight? Yes. How's the action? Oh, the action's even better. 
Are we centered? Yes. Let's go to the big screen. So the Citivian ST132, what do I think about it? Well, first of all, I really like this stone wash. I like the fuller. I like the fact that it gives us an extra deployment option. Um, a little takeaway would be I would go for more jimping. It works. Just my personal preference. I would like it out a little bit farther, farther maybe move the swedge up. Um, there's not much of a sharpening choil per se. The sharpening choil and the, the plunge grind end right there. That's a, you know, that's a nitpick. Maybe, maybe not. This one for $19, are you kidding me? It's a known braider. You buy two or three of these, give one to your son, give one to your wife, give one to your nephew. I mean, this is definitely a gift knife and a half. Now, the, the next question is, is it worth $29? Because the other versions are 29. Do I think it is? Yes, I do. Because it has excellent ergos, they both feel the same. There's no hot spots. This is like just, this is a traditional Perfect traditional knife with the addition of the fuller, which is very nice. And I guess if you like to use two hands, you can open it that way too. So I don't have much to complain about. Not much nitpicking to go. Um, if I had to choose myself, I would probably go for the lighter one. This one's a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit heavier. This one comes in at five ounces. It's not that big of a difference, but if you like a substantial feel, this one does feel a little more substantial in your hand. But all in all, I think it's a great knife. I like the colors that they offer in my Carta. I'm not a big fan of this myself, but that's just me. If you like the different colors, they have this in jade and like you already saw pictures of it. So I'm curious, what do you think about the ST132? Do you like it? What do you think about 19, 20 bucks? Pretty much 20 bucks. What do you think about that? I think it's an awesome deal. So tell me what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you not? Are you a different? Uh, tell me what you had for breakfast. But until I see you again, or see you in the chats, or see you in the live stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.